Hi everyone, welcome back to WWG Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. So continuing our journey through scanner and conditionals, I have one extra exercise. This one is a little bit more challenging. So this is the exercise. The military is asking us to create a system to classify people joining the force. They needed a system to accept the following data, gender, and this is one of the fun parts of the system we are going to create. It should somehow store M or F. Just by this line, probably we will have uh, more than five different solutions. And the age. Then we have these conditions. For gender, M, we have two options. One, if it's greater or equal than 18, it should be mandatory service. If it's lower than 18, the service is not allowed. Basically, we are going to send one of these messages. And then if the gender is female and the age is greater or equal to 18, we should ask would like to enlist and if uh, the gender is female and the age is lower than 18 this is a should print service not allowed for people under 18 basically the same one as we have here okay so basically i ask you try to do this exercise by yourself because it will be pretty interesting to compare your solution with what i'm doing here just pause the video and go forward with your own solution let's get started then by creating here a class in the source package Let's call this um, exercise conditionals 06 and then PSVM, press tab. Let's add here the exercise description and let's get started. Well, it's not saying anything about the age. If we are working in a real system, we would need to be careful if someone is putting age like greater than 150 years, for example, or if they are adding negative age or stuff as that usually people will try to do to test if our system is do, do, doing the correct validations or not. But here, I think we have to focus only on the, the if conditionals and the gender. Let's start with the gender. Basically, we have to ask, hey, let's first create a scanner because we are going to ask. So scanner, press enter, and we have the import at line number one. Uh, input equals new scanner system dot n okay so we have different ways to solve this problem for example we have one option where we can get like the m and the f directly or we have another option that we could assign kind of numbers so for example we could type here uh, type your gender m for male or f uh, for female. Okay, so when we do this, what's going to happen? People will see, hey, I have to either type M or F. And of course, someone will type maybe Y, Z, or something that's not what your system is asking for. Okay, so this is the first option. Then the second option would be, okay, instead of uh, typing your M or F, just type one for female or for male and two for female. Of course, someone is going to type 10, 9, and so on. But in this case, you, you as a software developer, knows that one will be for male or for female. And you can do the business logic based on that. But I will put here M or F because I want to show you something interesting. So first, how can we get M or F? How? Because if you think carefully, you need to get only one letter. And we only know how to get the whole string. For example, input dot next. Hmm. If we introduce here, for example, gender, let's print this data. Gender. Okay. Control Shift F10. Well, I'm typing here male. So we have male. Of course, you expect someone to type this M, and then we would have the correct value. But there is another way to do this. That's like a chain of methods. So the next is a method. What is this doing? It's getting whatever the user is inputting and put inside the memory value that is referenced by gender. But there is another option. You if you press dot, you can see that you take some extra actions. Basically, methods are actions that you are taking over something. In this case, this something is what the next got us. So if I type male, whatever I put here, for example, two lowercase, is going to be applied to the value male. So for example, 
If I type all uppercase mail, I have this stored in memory because the Java would read from left to right. So we have mail, and then after this mail, what do I have to do? I still don't have this assigned here because it didn't finish everything. So I have mail now in memory, and I'm telling Java to get that mail and put to lowercase. And then it will be stored here. So let's see. Ctrl Shift F10, and I will put here mail. And we have the lowercase. So basically, this is giving us back the result based on the action that I'm telling here as the last option. And that is one very interesting option that is the character at a specific position. So if you just hold the control here, or if you press uh, just hold over your mouse here, it's going to tell you, it's going to return the char, basically the primitive type char, at the specified index position. So if I have mail, zero is the first position, one, two, three. So I want the first position of whatever, I can type a whole text, but this is going to return only the first character. And when I type here zero, you are going to see now that this is going to give an error. Why? Because the return type is not string. The return type of this is char. So just add the char here. Okay, so now looks interesting. Let's try Ctrl Shift F10. And I can type it uh, not here, but can type down here. Mayo, 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 mayo. And you can see we only care about the first one. Hmm. So with this, we can do a quick condition and verify if the user is actually typing either something that starts with M or F. How can we do that? If. Okay, so let's see. If the gender, and remember, this is not string anymore. So you don't have the equals, but you do have the different. If gender is different than, and since we are working with character, should be single quotes. If you try to have double quotes, what's going to happen? You cannot compare character with string. That's why you have this compilation error. So in this case, should be single quotes. Okay. Now, here should it be or, or should it be and? So let's start with or. So if gender is different than M, or the gender is different, then f what's going to happen here let's salt invalid gender so control shift f10 so i will type here for example zeta okay invalid gender and then i will type here male mm, invalid gender why it's invalid gender let's debug this let's just add a breakpoint here and then press Shift F9. Let's move on and type here, mail. Okay, I press Enter. Now, can you see that IntelliJ is telling us, hey, this is false. But remember, the Java is like a short circuit. It means you know, this operator or is a short circuit. It means that it will only stop until something is true. So once something is true, it's going to stop. In this case, can you see here that it's telling, hey, the gender is different than M? No, it's false. But the if is going to try and see if something is true. And the gender is different than F. Yes, the gender is different than F. So this one is true. So it means that this will be a invalid gender. So if you want, you can do the following. You can copy here and then you can press out F8. Uh, in my case, uh, it doesn't work. I have to click here and evaluate. So this is true. So gender is different than F. Of course, gender is M. That's why we are going to get inside when we were not supposed to be inside. So we have to change our business logic here. It should be end. So now let's check. Control Shift F10. So we have here mail. Okay, we have uh, no message invalid gender. Control Shift F10. If you type here female, we have here no message. Control Shift F10. If I type here something completely different, then we have invalid gender. Why? Because to be invalid gender, it should not be 
M and F. But we do have another problem. What is the problem? If I type lowercase. So there are different ways to solve this problem. But since we know already how to solve it, let's do this. Let's copy this and let's add more. There you go. Now we compare here M or F. So there are different ways to solve this, but I just want you to use what you know already. So basically, when it's going to be invalid gender, if it's not M uppercase, F uppercase, M lowercase, or F lowercase. So, William, but I want to stop the program because otherwise, what happens here? Okay, if this is invalid, it's going to say invalid gender. And technically, it should not continue. So what we were going to do, we are going to write here else and then inside this elf, we would need to start writing all these conditions here. If here, else if here, and so on. But can you see that your program is getting a little bit too much? So that is something that I'm going to teach you right now. That is just tell J the JVM, hey, just stop working. That is system.exit. And then you press zero. So if you just hold your mouse over, you can see it terminates the currently running Java virtual machine. So basically, I'm saying, hey, if this is executed, then you just stop the system because I cannot move forward. So control shift F10. And if I type like X, invalid gender, and as you can see, this was never executed because the system just stopped. And now uh, we can continue without having to write one else. So if you want, you can write else and everything that we are going to do inside of that else. Otherwise, you just have this system.exit so different ways to do it the same thing some people they don't like this uh, in real life you're probably never going to use the system.exit that often okay so let's continue now that we have the gender let's also ask for the age so type your age and then input dot next int out enter age okay pretty cool now that we have all the data that we want as you can see our program is looking pretty good now we are going to do the conditionals now the conditionals here if we take a look at line 8 and line 10 looks like we have exactly the same thing but the gender is different but if the age is lower than 18 basically we have to print the same message so we can do the following first if and either age is M or F, doesn't matter. So basically, we have a condition here. So if the age, sorry, the gender, it equals to M. We, we could do the same, like M or F lowercase, but let's just assume here, for the sake of simplicity, that we are always going to input um, M. M then we would technically need to remove this and accept only uppercase but let's just leave like this let's assume that people are inputting the things correctly if gender is equals to m or gender is equals to f then if one of these is true then it means that we are going to enter in this if but we have another condition the age must be lower then 18. So if this, I'm going to add another parenthesis here. So if one of these is true and the age is lower than 18. So can you see that we are doing two conditions here or and and. So if I come here, let's go, let's go here. This is important to understand. So let's add another page here. There you go. So what are we doing here? If this is going to return true or false, remember this is or, and then if this is or, we have the or, let me copy both of them. We have the or and the end table that should be used here. So basically, is gender M? If this is true, what's going to be? This is going to be evaluated to true, it doesn't matter. Since this is or, the result of this will be true. If one is true, the result will be true. To be false, both of them needs to be false. So either M or F, if this is true. And then here, 
it's interesting because now the condition changes because now it's end and then it will evaluate if the age is lower than 18 or not if the first age is lower than 18 then you would have true and look at here true and true true if the age is 20 then this is false true and false what's going to happen true and false is false so the final result of all of these if the age is greater than 18 will be false so it's a very interesting way to check both of them at the same time okay so now that we have this if the age is this what should we do just print the message salt service not allowed for people under 18 and then else if now it comes we can start with uh, F or M, it doesn't matter. Let's start with uh, female. If the gender is equals to F and the age is greater or equals than 18, what are we going to do? We're going to send a message. Hey, would you like to enlist? So let me copy this. Else if we could use else, but in this case, we are not, I think we're not closing everything. So we have gender here, F. Yeah, in this case, I'm going to use else if as well. So M, if gender equals M and age is greater than 18, greater or equals than 18. We have this message here is always true when reached, uh, but you don't have to worry. South. Uh, I'll be here, mandatory service. Okay, so take a look at this program. How can we improve this? Usually, if you read what IntelliJ is telling you now, you can see that it's giving some warnings. What is this warning that I told you to ignore? First, the first thing that you should do is before changing stuff, check if it's working. Let's see, Ctrl Shift F10. And then let's type here M and then age 20. Okay, mandatory service. And then again, if you type M and you type 17, service not allowed for people under 18. Cool. If I do that again, but now for F and I type 20, would like to enlist. Ctrl Shift F10. We can have here um, F17, the same thing. Okay, the program is working. And now we check here what IntelliJ is telling us. So it looks like the condition age is always true when we get here. If you look at the first statement, we are saying either the gender M or F, and because it doesn't matter if this is true or this is true, then we are going to be this whole condition right here evaluated to true and then we are going to the age so it doesn't matter if it's m or f the age for them will always be under 18 so at this point here it will always be executed for either male or female so when we reach this else if it's here what's going to happen what's going to happen is that this can does not need to be evaluated again You can leave for the sake of you are learning, but if you remove, it's the same. Why? Because the first condition, and this is part of the else if, if the first condition is executed, none of this will be executed. And if this is executed, it means that the age is either M or F, and the age is definitely, sorry, the gender is either M or F, and the age is definitely lower than 18. So in this case here, we can remove this and we can also remove this or you can even leave it like this and then what should you do you should do the tests again so m and then you type 20 mandatory service ctrl shift f10 you type here again m and you have here uh, for example 17 service not allowed and then you do the same for the female and as you can see the, the program it starts getting cleaner In the beginning, when you are starting, the more like lines you have, looks like you feel prouder, but the more you 
get experience, the fewer lines, the better for you, the better for your eyes, the easier it is for you and someone else understand your program. Okay, so basically that's it. You can definitely improve this. There are a lot of room for, for improvements, especially the part where we have here uh, the Jenner. And if you want to search and do something differently, you maybe go and look at the, the character that can be also interpreted with integers. Hmm. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye bye.